Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Motivation. I'm back with another breakfast slash spiritual motivational video. Happy Saturday to everybody. God bless you all. And happy belated holiday to all that I have not said it to. I'm trying to pull up the uh, King James Bible app so we can do our verse of the day, devotion of the day. In the meantime, I'm going to show you the outfit of the day. So I have this cute little shirt here. It has pockets that I got from Tamur with some little leggings. And that's it. That's the outfit of the day. We got on no shoes because we at home. And we not doing shoes. <laughs> we are home. So for breakfast, I have my water. It's normal. I have me a, a Dr. K drink that I want to eat, but I don't drink with it. I don't know if I am because I'm eating pancakes and syrups. Y'all see, these are my syrup. Have you guys had these before? Blackburn syrups. We had these down south when we was kids, and I seen them up here, and I had to get them. I haven't had these in years. So I'm just going to put some on my pancakes, get everything ready. Get everything ready. Sit them over here out of the way so I can sit the water up and the drink. And get my glasses on, and we're going to say grace, and we're going to eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for another day. Another day to be in the land of the living. Another day that you stretched out your hands and breathed air into my lungs, Lord. Another day that you tapped my heart and made it be. I thank you for each and every member of my family. Lord, I thank you for them all. I ask that you save them all. Lord, save them right now, God. I ask that you create within them a clean heart and renew a right spirit within them. And the Lord, do the same for me. Please forgive me for all of my sins, God. The sins, my known, the unknown, even the secret sins that's hidden in my heart. And God, I ask that you let this food be a nourishment for my mind, body, soul, and spirit. Take out any defile me, God. And I ask that you bless all of my, my subscribers, my followers, my viewers. All of them in the name of Jesus and especially today. Amen. Amen. Amen, guys. So, yeah, I feel good to be back on this platform again. I come here for the city. Even with you guys, I have some grits in here. Just some salt and pepper grits. Because y'all know I don't like nothing else on them grits. And I have two small worker sausages. I hope y'all can see this, but we're going to get into these pancakes. Mm. I, should, I didn't get a fork. But I'm finna have my grandbaby to give me a fork. Hold on. Shaw, pass me a fork right quick. Today is Saturday. Thank you. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday, motivators. What a great day it is. Today is Saturday. Don't you love it? The, the holiday done came and gone. This month flew by so fast. You, Oh, my God. Can you believe we are already in, headed to December? And then we will be in the new year. I want you guys to have a bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. How was y'all Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was great. I went over to my sister's house, ate dinner. She made uh, Thanksgiving. She cooked, so it was so good. Mm. 
If I would have had brought more, I probably would have ate some more today. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. This is the one year I did not overindulge in no eating. I didn't. And I love dressing and stuffing. So I normally really do that, overdo that, but I did not this year. Thank God for that. Mm. Let's see what go. I like to mash my pancakes down on the syrups, guys. What are you guys having for breakfast on this Saturday morning? I know some people is um, still eating leftovers, which is nothing wrong with it. Because like I said, if I had it, I'd probably be doing it too. You know, I used to like to cook all the time. Not now. Y'all like my ponytail? That's another one. I ain't gonna eat too much of this food because I feel my stomach getting full already. But I'm gonna read the verse of the day and the devotion of the day. It's time to get back to the normal program. I will be also posting my uh, episode number three to the series that I'm doing. I hope y'all are enjoying this series because I'm doing it with my HUD. Mm. As I sit here and eat, I've been looking at the camera, watching all the different faces my face be making. Mm. Oh, I love me some good old butter and grits. Mm. And I didn't make them too thick this time, guys. Mm. So good. And it feels so warm going down on the inside. Mm. Yummy. Okay. I'm being full. Mm, yeah. Something on my phone. What's wrong with the battery charger? This thing I always saying that. But it's time for me to upgrade my phone anyway. I supposed to be took it to the Spectrus though, because I want a, the new Samsung. I got a Google Pixel now. Them phones too little. You know, I can't see I be needing a big screen. <clears throat> We're gonna get ready to get into this um uh, I think I'm done. It's this bread be filling me up. I'm going to get into this verse of the day. And so what did y'all cook for uh, Thanksgiving? I know what TCG fam cooked because I saw it. What did y'all cook? Remember I cooked turkey? Cheers. Yeah. Okay. I'm full. Sorry, guys. I ate what I could. Mm. 
Because this toxin is good. They thick. My cranberry bottom. Let's see. I think they bob Evans. They thick. But if y'all haven't had these certs right here, y'all can go check them out. They good. People mostly eat those with biscuits. I'm trying to eat this one sausage for y'all, so I ate half a pancake, y'all see. Almost all of my little one pack of grits, and y'all I'm trying to eat one of these sausages for y'all. But I'm full. And now I'm going to make it even both of it. It's sausage. I'm full. So, we're going to get into the verse of the day. How I like my hair. What about my edges? My grandbaby did my edges. Y'all see how I put my hair back on my head? Got a big forehead. That Sasha tastes salty. Very salty. Okay. The verse of the day is coming from 2 Kings 14, 26. And it reads as thus. For the Lord saw the affliction of Israel, that it was very bitter. For there was not any shut up, nor any left, nor any helpers for Israel. Coming from 2 Kings 14, 26. The inspiration tells us that the world is full of, of political turmoil. And that it has been for quite some time. We become frightened when thinking about possible outcomes as our leaders make decisions that leads to war, hunger, or poverty. Although we are anxious, we have comfort knowing God has seen everything before. More importantly, he has been present every morning and working according to his perfect plan. We do not understand the world around us. No, we don't. But we can always trust God plan for good. Yes, we can. And we need to pray that God will hold the world and all its turmoil in his hands. You know, we have to trust the plans of God. We have to trust his plan and that he has made for us and that he has planned for our future that it is good. Okay? The devotion is coming from Revelation chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. Okay, I see they're getting into the book of Revelation now. When people go to get into the book of Revelation, people start getting, go to getting scared. That word, go to scaring them. I say it go to whooping them, you know, chastising them. That's all it's doing. Because in the Bible, God said that his word did not come to conceal us, but to convict us. So, Hey, he said his word is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the mirror, the marrow of the bone. So that's what his word come to do. He come to tear you up. So the devotion, the title is suffering for God will be rewarded. Your suffering for God will, will be rewarded. I can't even talk this morning. Our suffering for God will be rewarded. It says the book of Revelation remains a source of hope for all those who suffer persecution today. Okay, we need to go to Revelation 15 verses 1 through 4 real quick and then it'll be the end of our video. So we're going to Revelation, the last book of the Bible, 15 verses 1 through 4. And it read as this, I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. 
And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works. Lord, God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. And the last verse four, who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before you, for thy judgment are made manifest. God's judgment are made manifest. Yes, hallelujah. I read to you Revelation 15 verses one through four. Mm. My neck kind of still. Let's go back to the devotion. The devotion, once again, the title of the devotion is The Suffering for God Will Be Rewarded. Now, let's go to this book right quick before we end this video and to this Bible and read uh, Revelation 15, 1 through 4 out of here because it's in English. So that way you will get exactly what I just read to you. And it say, after this, I looked into, at the sky and saw something else that was strange and important. Seven angels would bring the last seven terrible troubles. Bring the last seven terrible troubles. When these are ended, God would no longer be angry. Then I saw something that looked like a glass sea mixed with fire and people were standing on it. And they were the ones who had defeated the beast and the idol and the number that tells the name of the beast. God had given them hearts and they were singing the song that his servant Moses and the lamb had sung. They were singing, the Lord God our powerful. You have done great, great and marvelous things. You're the ruler of all nation. And you do what is right, and you do what is fair. Lord, who does an honor and praise your name. You alone are holy. All nations will come. All nations will come and worship you because you have shown that you judge, that you judge with fairness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That is the song that Moses and the lambs were singing unto the Lord because of his great defeat of the last and terrible troubles that's going to come to this earth before the Lord return. And then verse five say, after this, I noticed something else in heaven. The sacred tent used for a temple was open and the seven angels who were bringing the terrible troubles were coming out of it. They were dressed in robes of pure white linen and wore belts made of pure gold. One of the four living creatures gave each one of the seven angels a bowl made of gold. These bowls were filled with the anger of God who lives forever and ever. The temple quickly filled with smoke from the glory and the power of God. No one could enter it until the seven angels had finished pouring out the seven last troubles. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Talking about the seven last terrible troubles of God that's going to come upon this earth before the day of the Lord. These are things that's going to come to pass, okay? So read uh, Revelation chapter 15. And uh, chapter 15 only got, what, eight verses. So read the whole chapter, and it will explain it to you what the word is saying. I hope you got some out of this morning in devotion. This was the devotion of the day coming from Revelation 15 verses 1 through 4, but it's only eight verses. So read the whole chapter. Read it. Get it, got it, good. Read that chapter. And this was when they was talking about the matrix was gathered together, standing on a sea of glass. Mm -mm -mm. The seven angels that went and took back that number, 666, took the name from that beast, defeated him for God. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So it's just so good. The word is good, guys. You can never get enough of the word. Let's pray. Lord, you are there in good times and in the worst of times. Thank you for giving all those who survived the test, the crown of glory, which they have earned. Thank you, God, for giving us a chance, a new day of grace and mercy, for giving us another day to late, to wake up and to live to see a new day. Because every day that we live to see is a day blessed by God. Father God, I thank you for how you keep hoovering it over us and putting out, stretching forth your hand and protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, I ask that you order my steps. And that you direct my path in your word. I ask that you tame this tongue of mine and make me a humble servant of yours to be what you want me to be, God. It's no more about I, but it's all about you, God, that lives inside of me. And God, I ask that you create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. And now I will say in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Saturday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Thumbs up the video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think, what you did for the holiday. How was your Thanksgiving? And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Remember, guys, remember, 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 we are all under one God, one nation, one love. And that God loved the world, loved us so much that he allowed his son, Jesus Christ, to lay down his life so that we may raise up and live. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.